Within this video, we're going to walk through the process of getting the Unreal Learning Kit Rube Goldberg machines from a computer that has internet connection to a computer that is offline, for example, one inside of your classroom. Now, there are a couple of assumptions that we're going to go ahead and make, and that is that you have the Unreal Engine installed in an offline version using the Educator Request form. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this page down below, and if we scroll down just a little ways, you can actually find the next place we need to actually go to, which is this request. Once you click on this link, you will be greeted with this form. Go ahead and just fill this out and submit it, and Epic will go ahead and help you get everything set up for your offline install. From here, let's go ahead and talk about actually installing the Rube Goldberg project on an online machine so that you can move it to the offline machines inside your classroom. So from the machine that you have online, you're gonna to have to open up the Unreal Launcher, which is what you see here. Our next step is to actually make sure that we're working here inside of the Unreal section. So I'll go ahead and just make sure that you are on this tab. Next, we're gonna come up to the Marketplace, which you can find right up here at the very top. Go ahead and just give it a click. It may take a moment to load, so just give it a half second. The next thing that we wanna do is come over here and actually do a search projects. This is where we're gonna find our Rube Goldberg machine project. Go ahead and just click in here and type in the word Rube, R-U-B-E, and you should just get a little drop down right here, and you'll see this says the Unreal Learning Kit, Rube Goldberg. Go ahead and click on that, and you will then see this. Our next step is to actually install it on the online machine. To do that, you'll probably have a couple of different buttons that are right here. I've already clicked on those and they are part of my account. Now, before we actually create the project, I wanna point something out and that is this right here. It works best on version 5.1. Anything prior to 5.1 and this project's not gonna be so great. Anything past 5.1, if you're in the future, this should work just fine. There may be a few tiny things that we need to deal with, you know, software. So to make sure that you actually have that version installed, check up here in the top right-hand corner. You can see that I've got version 5.1.1. This is gonna work just fine. So work with your administrator and your ITs to figure out which version that you have installed on your machines and make sure that it's using 5.1 or higher if you wanna work with this project. Our next step is to actually create the project. So go ahead and click on this big yellow button that you see right here. Now, because we're gonna be moving this to another machine, it doesn't really matter where you install it. So go ahead and just choose a place by choosing our browse button right here. Next, go ahead and just click on the create button. So I'll go ahead and just click that. You'll see that we'll actually get a little bar right here that's going to go ahead and download and create the project. Once this is actually finished, we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until that's actually completed. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, hey, it's already done. Our next step is to grab that project folder and take it from the online computer to the offline computer. To do that, we need to know where that was just downloaded to. And hopefully you remember, but if you need a quick refresher, simply just hit that create projects and grab this entire line and just drop it into a Windows browser to actually find it. If you don't actually have that, it's very simple to do this instead. Come up here to where it says library, and inside of library, you should see something that says Unreal Learning Rube. It may actually have an icon that looks like this if you're super lucky. All you need to do is go ahead and just right click on that and go ahead and say show in folder, and that will take you directly to that actual project folder. Now, here's the important thing because we need all three of these things that you see here. We're gonna go up one folder, so I'm simply just gonna go up one, and we wanna grab this entire folder right here. Grab this copy it onto something like a thumb drive or a flash drive, and then go ahead and migrate it over to the computer that you're going to be using offline. And it's best if you actually install it in the default location. And you can actually see that default location if you look up right here. So it's gonna be your C drive, users, username, documents, and there will be a folder that's actually named Unreal Projects. It's gonna be the best place for sure, for sure. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install the Bridge plugin that's gonna make this world look nice and pretty. Now, if you don't install it, that's fine. It's still gonna work. It's just not gonna be nearly as pretty as it could be. And of course, I'll leave a link to this video in the description as well. All right, congratulations. You've made it through all of that information. Now, you just need to open up the project and it's really simple to do. Simply just double click on the U project file that you see right here and it'll begin to open it up inside of the Unreal Engine. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this running on screen just to prove a point, and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit as well, because what's gonna happen is that this project needs to go ahead and compile a lot of shaders. This is a lot of math that's going on in the background to make it look nice and pretty. It's literally going to take a bit, and you'll notice that down here in the corner, it may say 45 and just kinda of hang. That's fine, let it keep going, it's supposed to do that. It might get up to 95, and again, it's just going to hang. Don't worry, it's supposed to do that, it's doing everything it's supposed to. Now, a couple things to understand is that if the Unreal Engine crashes, it'll actually load up again really, really quickly because it's cached a bunch of that information. However, if you turn the computer off, 
turn it back on, and then go ahead and open this project again. It's gonna take a little while to get it up and running. So just be aware that it will have varying times to get this project up and loaded. So I highly suggest having it up and going before class actually begins whenever possible. Another very important thing to understand is that if you've already double clicked on that U project once and it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, give it about 30 seconds to a minute before you double click on it again because it is actually doing stuff in the background. And if you try and open it a second time, it's just gonna open up a second project, which is gonna slow it down. But wait, there's more. You may have noticed that over here, there's actually a whole bunch of folders that are actually starting to be created. This is doing what it's supposed to do. And you can go ahead and just copy and drag all of these from its root folder and drag it onto another machine so you can skip some of this compiling information. It'll make it just a little bit faster if you're migrating it from one machine to another. Or if your IT team has an image that they're actually putting on each one of the machines, you can actually grab all of these folders after it's been opened up once just to kind of speed up the process for every single machine. Now you may notice a little button in the bottom right hand corner that says project names must be no longer than 20 characters. At this point, go ahead and just press the OK button right here. Now throughout the life of the actual software, there may be some issues that pop up. We do know of a couple of them that happened inside of 5.2 and 5.3, and this page, which I will link down below in the description, will actually show you how to get through these issues. They have, as of right now, no bearing on the actual project, so they can be ignored, but they can be kind of annoying to kind of see pop up. So there you have it. Now you know how to install the Unreal Online Learning Kit for the Rue Goldberg machines, as well as deal with the Bridge plugin, as well as a couple of the troubleshooting issues that you may run into. So of course, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you're continuing to create inside of your classrooms, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you when we can. And of course, don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.